Welcome to the P-Series Indexer Quick Training. I'll give an overview of the P-Series and how to configure the Indexer drive with the Drive Support Tool software. The P-Series is a new product family which currently consists of two different model of drives, three power levels. One version is the Pulse Drive Series. Notice that it has a P at the end of the part number. The second version is the EtherCAT version which has a C at the end of its part number. The P-Series indexer drive can be configured as a base drive to be driven from a step and direction signal or plus or minus 10 volt analog torque or velocity modes with encoder feedback for the controller. It can also be set up as a simple indexer with different moves stored within it and selected from inputs from a PLC. It also has Modbus zero and can be controlled that way. The Pulse drive has a 50-pin connector with 16 discrete inputs, 8 discrete outputs, and 2 analog inputs. It has different hardware than the EtherCAT P-Series. The P-Series EtherCAT drive has the same high performance as the indexer drive but has different hardware. It is controlled from an EtherCAT controller and has 8 discrete inputs, 4 discrete outputs, and an STO input. The three different power levels are the same depth to fit in the same cabinet but are wider for the higher power levels. These sizes can be used to power a wide range of Parker motors. The P-Series motors are available in 40, 60, and 80 millimeter frame sizes with high resolution BIS-C absolute encoders. The 40 millimeter PMFAL has 18 bit resolution and the 60 and 80 millimeter size has 19 bit resolution over revolution, giving high stability for fast response. A battery cable provides multi-turn capability for 65,536 multi-turns. They are IP67 rated sealed for industrial environments and have a competitive pricing and fast delivery. The P-Series Direct Drive PMDD series are available in five frame sizes and 13 models giving the highest torque in its class. High accuracy is achieved through precision cross roller bearings and 20-bit BIS-C encoder allowing fast settling times and high accuracy even while in motion. MSR with linear BIS-C and the MPP motors with the new 4B this C option join the P-Series rotary and direct drive and are all also compatible with the P-Series drives. Motors with differential quadrature encoders all work with the P-Series. Parker BE, SM, MPP, MPJ series rotary servo motors and Parker's MSR, MX80L, LXR, and Trilogy iForce linear servos. When you're ready to configure the drive, there's three main settings, the motor, the mode for the drive, and the direction. The P-Series motors and the new MPP with the 4B automatically send the motor information to the P-Series drives on power-up. The MPP with the 4B needs firmware version 2.04 or higher, but can be updated in the field. In addition to BIS, and quad encoders, the P-Series can also be used with NDAT, 2.2, and analog sine cosine encoder motors. Second, select the drive mode, either analog or step and direction. Third, change the direction if needed. Default is counterclockwise looking at the motor shaft is positive. If replacing an older Parker Aries drive, we'll need to switch the direction to clockwise as positive. Then we'll save to non-volatile memory and do a software reset or just cycle power. Let's show this with the drive support tool. From our website www.parkermotion.com or parker.com, you can go to servo drive controllers or servo drives. You'll see the compact servo drive P-series. Here you can download uh, version 85 of the drive support tool software will always have the latest version up on the product page. Also, there is a link to the motor files. This post is in our community site. 
Here's a link to the motor files. Here's a PDF instructions in terms of downloading the file to the drive. And there's also a link to the quick setup for uh, configuring the drive in analog or uh, step and direction mode for the ACR controllers, which is a uh, text file. Um, and this varies based on the feedback resolution of the motor, so that's why there's different files for the different motors. I've downloaded those and uh, installed the drive support tool software. I also have my controller software, which is the Parker Motion Manager for the new ACR 7000 series. Let's uh, go into the drive support tool. I've also uh, unzipped the motor files. I have a uh, SM23 motor connected to my uh, P-series drive. First thing, you'll need to connect your mini USB to the front of the drive. Here we see the part number is a PD04P, which is the 400 watt pulse indexer drive. My software firmware version is 2.04. Go into the object dictionary, into the drive specific parameter, or on the toolbar, you can click on the book icon, which is the object dictionary. Go to load from file. On my desktop, I have the uh, motor files unzipped. I have an SM23 motor, so I'm going to go to the SM folder. I have an SM233AE, so I'm going to go down to 33, which is a 23 frame, three stack, A winding, E encoder. This sends it to the drive. You can see the writing is complete. Then you would do a save to memory and um, software reset. I also want to load from file the quick settings for uh, configuring the drive in analog mode with a 4000 post quadrature encoder. This is already set up based on my uh, encoder resolution of 4000 counts post quadrature because the SM motor, the E encoder is a thousand line, which is uh, 4,000 counts post quadrature. And then I've sent that. And then I also want to, because I'm using an ACR controller, uh, I want the direction to be positive. In the motor files, go all the way to the bottom. You can see there's a uh, positive for the clockwise. So now if I then save to memory, and then do a software reset. This cycles power on the drive, so it'll close the connection. So you may need to uh, click to go back online. Now you can see we've named the drive based on the motor file, you can name this whatever you want. If you had uh, multi-axis, you could name this based on the axis information. And to test it in the drive support tool software, if you go into the jog menu, I have uh, 500 RPM is the default. If I want to lower this down, let's say even 100 RPM, I can enable the drive. We can see the uh, status in the bottom it says drive enabled. And then if I hold the jog, the motor will jog clockwise when I'm jogging it positive, counterclockwise in the negative direction. You'll notice that the seven segment display says S run. That is speed mode. So the manual jog is in speed mode or in velocity mode. It, it's not closing the position loop. 
if you go to the point-to-point -point move, this is a little bit different. This is for a position-based move. And then if you then re-enable it, you'll see that the seven segment display says P run because you are now in position mode. So now if you jog it, it will then use the velocity here. So I'm going to change this to 4,000 and then do a jog positive. And because my motor is uh, 4,000 counts post quadrature per revolution, that would be one rev per second. And I am turning clockwise when I'm jogging in a positive direction. So that proves that that is working. So then if we want to connect to the controller and drive it from the controller, we can shut down the drive support tool software. We can go into our controller software. I have a new ACR 7000 controller. This replaces the ACR 9000 controller. I already have a uh, file for driving the P-series drive in analog torque mode. ACR controllers need the drives in analog torque mode. You could also configure them in, in uh, pulse mode or step and direction mode. In that case, then the uh, P-series drive would close the position loop, and then you can do the auto-tuning in the drive support tool software. In torque mode, the velocity and the position loops are closed at the controller. So then all the tuning is done at the controller. So if I connect to my controller, I would need to have the cable connected to the controller, uh, our ACR 7000 to P-series controller cable. There are two wires on here, actually three. Um, the brake is the black wire. That's optional. If your motor does not have a brake, you don't need that wired up. The uh, blue wire gets connected to 24 volts, and then the uh, white wire with the blue stripe gets connected to ground, and that's connected to my 24-volt uh, power supply there. And that's also supplying uh, 24 volts to my enable input on my controller. And that supplies the enable input on the P-series drive. So when I enable it, my drive enables. It says T run because it's in torque mode. And then if I then jog the motor positive from the controller, it is turning clockwise in the positive direction. If you're having problems uh, enabling the P-Series drive, double check that the motor configuration is loaded and that it matches the motor configuration. Double check that the motor phase wiring 1, 2, and 3 is on U, V, and W, and that the ground wire is connected to the heat sink on the bottom of the P-Series drive. That's where the chassis ground is, and that's also the earth ground. On the PD04P, you can run it at 120 volts AC. It is configured in the firmware as default. If you change the firmware though, hold the Alt key and press the firmware update. This will pull up the engineering setup wizard and then make sure that the allow 110 volts AC is selected. This should only be used on the 400 watt. Do not do this on the 1,000 watt or the 3,500 watt units. The 400 watt you can also run at low voltages for 24 to 80 volts DC. For example, the MSR80 or the MX80L is a maximum 80 volts DC on that linear servo motor stage. So then you could uh, run DC into the line power the control power still needs to be 120 volts AC or 240 volts AC. There's a FAQ that shows that wiring on there. At 110, if uh, 
you're trying to enable and you can't enable, make sure that that is set up in the drive. Any other questions, feel free to email us, emn.service at support.parker.com.